opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. The ICC Women's World Cup has begun and what we've seen so far has been outstanding. So we are certainly in for a treat throughout this month. Hello and welcome to Crick Buzz for the preview to the most watched game in the league stage of any World Cup. It's India taking on Pakistan in both their opening match. The match takes place at the Bay Oval in Mount Monganui on the same track as the first match between New Zealand and West Indies. And what a showstopper that was. We saw two hundreds, great value for your shots, a fast outfield. Plus, Hayley Matthews, the off spinner, was able to actually extract some spin from the deck. Both sides will be nervous as it will be their first game in the World Cup. Then add the weight of their country, stopping what they're doing to cheer them on. No other teams deal with this amount of expectation and pressure. Whilst Pakistan's run into the World Cup hasn't been the best, their skipper, Bishma Maroof, has mentioned that they want to make the semi. And based on what we've seen so far in the practice match where they beat New Zealand and also Bangladesh, they are certainly here to play. Once upon a time, Pakistan had a couple of stars. The all-rounder, Nida Dar, Javira Khan, who was still there, and former player, Sana Mir. However, over the period of from the last World Cup to this one, they've been able to build on those names. Captain in her first World Cup, Bishma Maroof, a talented left-handed bat. Ali Riaz, who scored 62 not out in the warm-up match against New Zealand. And a rising star, Fatima Sana, who was named the ICC Emerging Player of the Year last year. There's also nothing to lose for Pakistan. They go in as underdogs. So the ace for India, has to be their experience. In World Cups, they have performed well in the last edition when they went all the way to the final. The likes of Goswami, Raj, Kaur, Mandana will certainly lead the way. Yet they've also got some young guns as well who want to make their mark. Like Pakistan, India won both their practice matches, including a hard fought win against South Africa. They are, they are already used to the conditions, having played the series against New Zealand and we're getting better each game. An area that India is great at is their power hitting. They have the ability to play spin very well, having been brought up on the same pitches. Plus, as we've seen time and time again, if Julian Goswami gets her line and length right, she will be an absolute handful for the Pakistan batters. My playing 11 for both of the sides. For Pakistan, Nahida Khan, Sidra Amin, Javira Khan, Omaima Sahail, Bishma Maroof, Nida Da, Alia Riaz, Fatima Sana, Sidra Nawaz, Diana Beg, and Nashra Sandhu. For India, well, they've got a few little things that they can do. Shafali Verma, Shmidi Mandana, Yastika Bhatti, Aurora Dipti Sharma, Mitali Raj, Harman Preet Kaur, Dipti or Yastika Bhatti, Richa Ghosh, just to strengthen their batting, Puja Vastrika, Meghna Singh, Dulan Goswami, and Rajaswari Guy. A player to watch from both sides. Well, I'm going to go with the Pakistan skipper, Bishma Maroof, because she's making a comeback after being out of the game for almost two years due to maternity leave. She last played in the T20 World Cup in 2020, and you feel that they need their leader to step up right at this moment. She's also, interesting fact, the sixth mum within this tournament that will take part. Just shows you how far the game has developed off the field to allow players to have a break, to become a parent, and then come back into the game. Just shows you where the game is going. For India, Shafali Verma has had a tough time of it. Bilaterals are really hard because certainly the oppositions get an understanding of what she can do and they challenge her with the short ball. However, I feel like World Cups are exactly where she will perform well. And I have no doubt that she will damage the Pakistan bowlers. My word of advice for India is, I actually believe this is a danger game for India. They cannot take Pakistan lightly. 
They have been improving quietly behind the scenes and they've given us a glance when they beat New Zealand in the warm-up match. In World Cups, you have to play the opposition like it is a final. Otherwise, you lose some games and you're behind the eight ball. I believe that Indy will have the experience on the biggest stage and they have more depth in the batting in both departments. However, the great thing about this contest is that we only ever see them face off in the World Cup. So it will be all about who's done their analysis work. Who can adjust on the path when things don't quite go to plan? I have a feeling this match will be one of the tighter games between these two great cricket countries.